everybody, welcome back to another reaction. It's Lance here for episode 7 of Days with My Stepsister. Kind of got a little bit of this connection growing between our two main characters here, between the siblings, step-siblings, obviously. And I'm really curious if we're going to see this girl even closer now that she's interviewing for the job. She probably will get the job, but let's find out if she does. Let's dive in. Oh, That's beautiful, actually. Because of him, I had hope again. That's a beautiful line. We can slowly see her descent more and more to catching feelings for this boy. Oh. I love this shot, this framing. It's very normal, though. It's very normal to have those feelings. The fact you're writing it down, and you understand that not it's not even your true feelings, means that you're getting closer to that next step, though. I love how they... I, I love how they do her thoughts like this. It's the closest we'll ever get to like inner monologue with a light novel, right? It's just perfect to my eyes. And it works for the show so well. They probably would. The problem is, is he's also dealing with his own inner drama and and, and tra trauma, I should say. Honestly, I'd work at a bookstore. I don't think it's that weird. It's, yeah, it's kind of weird, but I don't think it's that weird as you're making it out. Yeah, because it's hard. It's, yeah. Because you obviously have feelings. You don't want to lie to them. So this doubt you keep having and you're scared. Like, you're scared. I love how she's modeled. Like, she's. And yeah, you could say, like, you could be a mixed mind on how I'm starting to feel about him, right? Whether or not, like, oh, you don't. Author should be able to show us what her she, her and her monologue is without her telling us, but I think this works really well for this story, to be honest. Hey, there's a reason why people write about stuff like that, right? It's because they're taking usually from, sometimes from actual, like, current experiences. Hmm. You talking about it, though, makes me realize that's a flag. Let's grab the nature of the unpleasant feelings. Oh, with one word. Love. Maybe. It could be that way. I just... Oh, my God. I love the entire segment there. It was half the episode, but I fucking loved it. Because they don't understand what they are to each other yet. That's the main thing. She does not want to do that. Because at this point, right, even if even if there wasn't this romantic subtext between them right now, at least with her, still, they're still not familiar, like, they're not family to each other yet. Even if there wasn't going to be a romantic subtext. Hey, sometimes people just want to chill for summer vacation. Now, I know summer vacation for, for 
students in Japan isn't as long as like students in America. I do like the parents trying to be like, no, y'all should have fun. I mean, but she came over to your fucking house. Yeah, I think that's still kind of. Mm, I guess. Maybe that's how you do as friends, though. Maybe you should be the one to... Yeah. But maybe you should be the one to instigate that, right? I'm... I'm the same way. I necessarily don't prefer solitude like he does, but... I gotta meet you through another proxy first. Like, I just can't be, like, I can't blind friendship somebody, right? I can't blind date anybody either. That's just too awkward for me. But, like, yeah, through if I meet you through a party and we vibe, I want to hang out with you. That's how it works for me. I just can't blind date. <laughs> oh. Over by the A to Z section. Under other books, maybe? Because uh, customers are douchebags. <laughs> and they'll pick up a book and not put it down in the correct order. Now granted, right? But still, they should. If you pick something up, put it back where you got it. Yeah, plus they got it from the sign, yeah. I love this conversation happening over this, them walking home. I know I keep saying I love, I love, I love, but somebody who's really into narrative storytelling, and this won't be everyone's cup of tea, like I've said it thousands of times, I just really love this. Oh, fuck. An AC broken is like my worst nightmare. I live in South Texas. Nope. Hell, I live when I lived in Japan. Nope. When I lived in Connecticut. Nope. When I lived in Florida. Nope. When I lived in Nevada. Nope. California. Nope. Anywhere. Like, okay, when I was stationed in Alaska for a little bit. Hell no. I better have AC. I will fight you. I need AC. More stoic, more level. Because she showed more emotion when she was a child. Plus, you know, mom stuff. So you didn't want to be a bother. Good for him for remembering that. Good little thing here. She's changed outfits, basically. And he's pretty much wearing the same thing. <laughs> pretty much. I love that shit. I did that shit a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, that is depressing. Right? When you're an adult, it's hard. You don't get to have, like, stretches of break like this where you know you won't have to do things. You have to pre-plan that <laughs> way in as an adult. Like, oh, I'm taking vacation from here to here. Like, oh. You need to win the lotto. That's what you need to do. You know the boy bed to win shit. Are you going to push her to go to the pool? But get out of your comfort zones. How about you? This is a good opportunity to get out of your comfort zones, though. Mm-hmm. I was wondering if we're gonna get that. That's very fair. But once again, though, like, my my guy, it's not your responsibility to find her a job, right? 
Oh, back to the test question. That makes a lot of sense. I was thinking jealousy in my head when I said love earlier, but jealousy makes a lot of sense, right? And I, I love how she's discovering these feelings that she hasn't really had in a long time or never experienced, right? We saw that as a child, she was so into, not into, but she was energetic and she threw temper tantrums and she wanted ice cream. She wanted to go out. She wanted to do this. She wanted to do everything, right? And good callback with the directing standpoint to be like, we're going to remember that the mom had to work twice as hard to provide for her. So in the end, she stopped being as needy as a child, right? And that's why it comes from other things that coming from her dad, shit like that, that she wants to get over and trying to push past uh, and provide for herself and not have to worry about anybody else, like her relying on anybody else, right? And then, but I, oh man. But like I'm trying to say is like, I love that her writing this feelings in the diary works really well for discovering these emotions. Um. Also, once again, I did. I said it earlier in the episode, but people may not like it. Like, yeah, I'm under. I'm a big proponent of like the author should not need to tell us somebody's emotions. We should be able to see it right through their actions. But here, it's so hard because both of them are so introverted, so stoic, so cut off from their feelings. A response and hot milk. Interesting, 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 interesting. Um, they're so shut off from their feelings that kind of hard to do that, right? It works a little bit now and then with the tension with the with how long scenes are sometimes. It, that does a great job of building tension. I'd like to say this time, unlike last episode where I had that nitpick of, I think they stay too long on shots. This time, I think they they stayed almost perfectly to the point where I didn't notice it, right? I always say in the end, if you if you feel like the shot is too long or you notice the shot is too long or you notice the shot's been going on a while, then that's, I think, an, an, an issue, right? Um, now, that's objective for people and all that stuff, but I didn't feel that way at all this episode. I was enthralled this episode. I didn't do a lot of reacting because I was very enthralled. This story is, like, enthralling to me between these two characters. Yeah, the romantic subtext is, gr is, is, is great, I think, right? I, I, I love this, like, her discovering this feeling I'm just enthralled between these two as just their experience, their thoughts, their emotions, and how they're trying to get through life right now. Um, I'm very enthralled. Holy fuck, I'm super enthralled. One of the more enthralling sh shows this season. It's, it's getting some love, but I understand why people wouldn't react to it because, like, here, like, I didn't react to a lot because it's just a lot of talking, but at the same time, it's so enthralling to me, like I keep saying. But, um, yeah, she's learning jealousy. She's learning these feelings that she didn't know she had or lost at one point. I'm really, really curious. This whole summer vacation thing with being invited to the pool, what may come with that, the drama with her having to probably fight off senpai. My, my man doesn't even have, like, he doesn't even really know from what we understand here what his feelings are for senpai either. We really don't have his emotions too much, which is fine. Because once again, we know he's got some issues as well. I mean, they both do. That's the whole point of this, right? Um, man, I, I'm so, I, I honestly just want to read it. Like this is a perfect example of a light novel where I just want to sit down and binge the fuck out of it over a weekend. I haven't done that for a light novel since Mishoku Tensei. First season, first season of Mishoku Tensei was so enthralling. The worlds were so interesting that after the first season was over, I binged the entirety of the web novel over a weekend, like three days. Um, I'm getting that similar feeling here. I'm not comparing, I'm not saying they're of equal quality or one's, Mr. Taze is better and all that stuff. I'm just, since I'm reacting to it, I don't want to yet. Now, as soon as the season's over, if we don't get an immediate announcement, it could be very, very hard-pressed not to just jump in and see what the fuck's happening. <laughs> it's just how it is with me. Um, I had more thoughts, but I didn't really should start writing down my thoughts more. Like her, with the diary. Um, yeah, it's just very interesting to me. Oh, yeah, going back to the whole thing with um, narrative storytelling, showing and don't telling. I get, you know, that you want to do that. And like I would say, they're stoic. They're all blocked off. But I think it works so well in this instance 
because it's a diary. She's she's writing it to herself, right? So I think it's fine that way. I actually really like it that way because a lot of times you miss out of a important inner monologue that you get so much more context in, in a light novel. And here, I don't think I'm missing much context, right? Um, but yeah, I could probably go on for a lot longer. This is when sometimes I miss having somebody to talk to about these shows when reacted to because it's good to bounce stuff off of people. Like, oh, what do you think? What do you think? I have good conversations. That's what I'm missing, I think, from this channel sometimes is having in-depth conversations. It is what it is, though. Sometimes people are just into things or people don't have a lot to say. But it is what it is. Anyway, fantastic episode once again, I think, personally. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I will talk to you soon for another reaction.